this is a Rapido Rail Crew switching machine. Uh, this is a relatively new product from Rapido. I say relatively new as in uh, it came out I think sometime in the fall of 2017. Uh, but anyways, this is their switching machine. Uh, I saw a video on how to install this thing uh, way back then and I've wanted one ever since so I finally picked one up. It was 23 Canadian dollars, 24, we don't have pennies anymore so uh, yeah, 24 Canadian dollars, which uh, to me is an okay price. I don't know how that compares to the competition, um, but I assume that's decent. And as you can see on the back, it's got a uh, low profile compact design. I think these are more compact uh, than the competition. I think uh, tortoises have to be mounted under the layout and these go uh, right in the table. Uh, easy to install on existing layouts. Well, we'll see how that, if that turns out to be true. Uh, target rotates on switch stand. Uh, I saw that in their video. It's actually pretty cool. This will actually turn uh, with the, uh, or just like a real switch, you know, you pull this up and uh, change it. And uh, three different stands to choose, so that's kind of a cool feature. Um, I assume those are the different types you can pick. I don't know anything about them. Maybe somebody in the comments can explain exactly what those are. Ten different targets. The target is the uh, thing on top there. Uh, contacts, power frogs, and signals. So I think you can power your frog basically so that uh, whatever way you have the switch set, it will allow power to go through the frog without having shorts. Uh, control switch and face shed display included. So when you mount this, it has a display which will uh, make the switch look all pretty. Anyways, let's see what's inside this thing. I'm gonna try to unbox this thing with one hand. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I think this is for, I think, what's called the head block. No, it's not. I don't know what that's for. Anyways, let's, uh, let's see what this is. I think that's to install the unit itself. Oh, you got quite a bit of stuff in this box. Okay, fine. Oh, okay, so there is the, uh, all the parts of the switching stand, and uh, there's the fascia. And, uh, and the cosmetic detail, and then right here, we've got the switch machine. So, there it is. Simple unit. I believe it's just a motor encased. It's got this fancy thing. I believe this is where you install all of the uh, stuff that goes to the frog to electrify it and stuff like that. Uh, we'll figure that out. And here is the switch. We'll figure that out. There are also are some dandy instructions. Cool, you can I'll just put a light on it. And there are all the different targets. Oh, that's what the Milwaukee Road used, I guess. Pennsylvania. I never knew that. I guess every railroad had its own different thing. Canadian uh, Pacific. Here we got an installation guide. Oh, bilingual. For fellas in Quebec. Um, yeah, okay. So that looks simple enough. Let's try to install this thing. So in Rapido's video, they say basically to measure one inch from the switch because as Canadians, we like to use the Imperial system when doing projects for some reason. We will drill a hole right there. And there is not the right location because it's not straight off the switch box. Let's pick a little pilot hole just to make sure I don't accidentally make that little mistake. I swear, folks, there's probably not a drill in my life that will make me as prideful as this one. It's Canadian made, partially made of metal, it's got a cord, and it's been in the family for probably 50 years, and it's still chugging away. It's like all my favorite things in one. I usually use my plastic drill, but that thing, I'm pretty sure the commutator's burning on it. After a long and boring time, I finally got this thing to fit. So we can start putting together the rest of it. Um, Rapido includes this 
kind of unusual little transparent cover. Uh, they claim it's to keep out dust and dirt from uh, getting into the switch machine. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not really sure as to how much dust and dirt this thing would really be keeping out because the only spot I can see where dust and dirt could get in would be uh, where the actual switch machine turns. Um, but that part is not covered by this, so um, I'm a bit skeptical as to how much dust and dirt that thing prevents, but uh, maybe the people at Rapido know better, so I'll put it on anyways. I'm not entirely sure which hole uh, I should put this through. Got the uh, cam installed. I'm going to secure this thing down with hot glue. There's probably some good reason why not to do this, but I can't see it, so I'm just going to do this. So we'll let that sit. And then we'll come back later and hopefully wire it up. In Rapido's video where they uh, install the switch, they take out a spring which is apparently located under here somewhere. Yep, there's the little spring right there. That out. There we go. Now, in order to install the new fascia display, we're going to need to remove these old Atlas switches. Coincidentally, uh, the fascia display actually fits quite well where the atlas switches currently are. But that doesn't change the fact we need to move them. So, atlas switches. So, with all the old uh, switches removed, we can now drill a hole for the new uh, fascia display. Got the fascia and switch installed. I think it's looking pretty good. Seems to work. Now all we need to do is wire it up. Well, folks, check it out. It works. Um, in case you want to wire this bit up yourself, I'll just quickly show you all the wiring. Right here, you got the uh, positive and negative wires. Basically, they just go to the two holes in the middle. Um, I'm not sure if it matters which side you get them on, but if you wire it up, just do it like this. Those two wires feed up here, and you can see they hook up to the black and red wires, which go up to the control board. And then right here, you can see these two wires. Uh, these are the two wires that go into the board, and uh, it doesn't matter which way you wire them up. And if you follow this wire right here, it heads up to this, which is a 12 volt, one amp uh, charger. So that powers that. So. That's how to wire it all up. Um, I was going to add on the signal and stuff, but honestly, I haven't figured that out yet. And to be completely honest, this video is taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. So I think I'll do this in a future episode. But uh, yeah, I think I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Just it works so well. It's all so clean, and this just looks so much better. I dream of a day where I have a whole board full of these. But anyways, thanks for watching folks, and hopefully I'll have some more videos up soon.